Responsive email confirmations are email notifications that will fit the display of whatever device they are being viewed on, without having to pinch and zoom to view the content. The responsive email confirmations are created in the Forms program. The first step is to duplicate the Jonas Standard or the Club's Custom Dining Reservation Confirmation or Reminder Template by selecting the template, then selecting the Duplicate button. Enter a description for the form, then select the Save button. Once the form has been saved, set the Designer Type drop-down over to Responsive Email Designer. Then select the Responsive Email Designer button to launch the form design and configure the sections available. Let's take a look at an existing example. We've made the responsive email designer nice and simple and easy for you to use. The screen is divided into two panes. The left pane contains available phrases which can be utilized in any of the form sections that allow text. The available phrases are pulled from the sections on the original form that you converted to responsive. Therefore, anything you had in your old form is available to you to easily add to your new form, i.e. you don't have to retype everything, you can simply drag and drop. The right pane contains all the sections within the email form. Tip: If you select Show Section Headers, the section headers are shown along with their status as to whether a given section can be edited. Two arrows indicate that the section can be edited, whereas the Do Not Enter sign means the section cannot be edited. Typically, every section can be edited except for the data section, as this section pulls the data from the actual booking or reservation. The fields listed will only be populated if the data is available for the booking or reservation. Prior to adding your own content, there will be default text in each section that can be edited. At this time, each section must have content in order to save the form. The sections you see in my example here are available for dining reservation confirmations. In the image URL section, you can grab an image's URL from the Clubhouse Online website or any other publicly accessible website and paste it into this section. Typically, this will be a club logo and will appear at the top of the email message. You will want a publicly accessible internet image so web-based email providers can display the image within the email body and not as an attachment. The image should be no wider than 600 pixels. As a tip, you can get an image URL from your Clubhouse Online website. Let's take a look. From within your Clubhouse Online dashboard, select the Media Libraries, then select the pencil icon next to your Site Media folder. Go ahead and locate your logo. Once you've selected your logo, you'll want to copy the permanent link. Just make sure you grab the URL for your website and then add the link for the logo. To edit any of the editable sections, simply select the section to enter the new values. In all cases, except for image URL, there is a text field editor where you can enter text or drag and drop one of the available phrases. Note that all the text is pre-formatted for you, and therefore you do not need to worry about formatting. To drag and drop, simply select and drag into the applicable section. As you design the form, you can utilize the preview button to view a preview of the email message which will open in a default web browser and will look similar to what you see here. Or you can use the test email button where you can go ahead and send this email to the desired email addresses. Once all changes have been made to the form, go ahead and select save and close. And don't forget to select save from the main forms program. Now that you have your new responsive dining email confirmation, you'll want to update the dining email notifications. You can do this by navigating over to the Dining Reservations module and selecting Dining Settings. In the Notifications tab, set your email confirmation form over to your new responsive template. Then go ahead and save. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.